This video is sponsored by SquareTrade.com. For your two-year SquareTrade warranty, go to www.squaretrade.com slash TSIG. Thanks guys for watching. This is gonna be a very quick little easy tutorial that anyone can do. Um, first off, you're going to need a Mac because it is a Macintosh modification. Now, if you've downloaded iTunes 10, which was released last night, you may have noticed that the buttons over here have moved to the side. I, along with several other people, do not like this. Um, every other application that's ever been on the Mac, they've been here up top. So while it is kind of cool that, excuse me, when you make it the little mini player, they stand on the side, it still, I don't like it, it bothers me. So, there's a very easy terminal command you can type to get these back to normal, but not interrupt anything else from within iTunes. Now, in order to do this, you need to quit iTunes, and then you need to open terminal. Um, I have this in my doc. If you don't have it, you can do a finder search for it, or you can spotlight search it, T-E-R-M-I-N-A-L. That's pretty well self-explanatory. Now you're gonna get to this screen, and uh, it'll just open a new console window, and uh, it's first off, we're going to redirect to your user. You can type directly from here, and it won't matter, because all it does is modifies the plist file. So what you're going to type, and uh, I'll display it on screen, is defaults, space write, space com dot apple dot itunes make sure you capitalize the t and then full window uh, minus int minus one okay so default write com dot apple dot itunes full window uh, initialize minus one you press enter doesn't look like it's going to do anything but then you can quit terminal then you reopen itunes and you will notice that your buttons are back up top. So that's all you need to do, it's very easy. Uh, the command once again is default write com.apple.itunes full minus window minus int minus number one. That's it, that's all for me. Thanks so much for watching. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later.